السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على سید الانبیاء والمرسلین وعلى آلہ واصحابہ اجمعین اما بعد The Honorable President of today's program, respected guests and dear brothers in Islam. First of all, I would like to have some sentences about Dawa and Tabli. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. ادعو الى سبيل ربك بالحكمة والموعزة الحسنة وجادلهم بالتي هي أحسن إن ربك هو أعلم بمن دل عن سبيله وهو أعلم بالمهتدين سورة النحل جبر نمبر 16 verse number 125 invite people to the way of your lot with wisdom and good concern and argue with them in the best of manners. Surely your Lord knows best the ones who deviate from thrones, and he knows best the ones who are on the right path. They are brothers in Islam. Allah has created us, and he gave us everything we need to live in this world. He created the sun and the moon for us. He created the sky and earth for our use. He brought about the whole universe for us. But, do we have it? Why Allah has created us? For what purpose He created the mankind? So my dear audience, we should know that Allah has created us to live according to His command. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down messengers and prophets from the beginning. So, all the prophets and messengers guided mankind to the path of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down 124,000 prophets to mankind at various times and places. The first messenger of Allah was Sayyidina Adam alayhi wasallam. While the last messenger was Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was given the perfect religion of Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finalized the prophethood upon him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarded Islam as global, eternal, and perfect religion for all mankind. Thus, the responsibility of Dawah fell upon the shoulders of Muslims as the Quran said. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ تَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ سورة الإمران chapter number 3 verse number 110 you are the best people you are raised for mankind you beat the fear and forbid the unfair and you believe in Allah on the other hand our beloved prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam demanded all muslims in his famous speech of farewell before the hajj before more than a hundred thousand sahaba beware those who are present should convey my message to those who are absent sahih bukhari the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was also reported to have said preach my message even if it is a sentence sahih bukhari in the light of these verses and traditions, it is our duty to preach Islam and introduce it to those who are unaware of this true religion. We should know that the whole world is thirsty for truth. The people of the entire world are tired of the old superstition and modern materialism. They are wondering about in the mental peace and national space. Brothers, we should, we should, we should present this picture. Brothers, we should most fulfill our religious duty. We should present Islam before others and remove the widespread misconception. Here I will conclude my talk at this verse of the Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. 
ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين who can be better in words than the one who calls towards Allah and act righteously and says I am one of those who submit themselves to Allah وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين